Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to learn about the analysis level of Bloom's taxonomy. So we just learned about application and students oftentimes confuse application and analysis. They sound really similar, um, but there are a few key distinctions between the two. So as we go up Bloom's taxonomy, each level becomes a little bit more detailed, a little bit more nuanced, and the skills that require uh, at each level build on each other. So analysis is considered to be a mid-level thinking skill, just like application. So we're still in the middle when we're talking about both application and analysis. So here's a definition from Bloom. In comprehension, the emphasis is on the grasp of the meaning and the intent of the material. Remember we said comprehension means restate it in your own words, basically. Take the problem, restate it in your own words. In application, it is on remembering and bringing to bear upon given material the appropriate generalizations or principles. In other words, that's transfer. You take in previous information and you're applying it in a new situation. Well, when we get to analysis, analysis emphasizes the breakdown of the material into its constituent parts and detection of the relationships of the parts and of the way they are organized. So, you know, you could think about the kid who takes apart something to see how it works, right? That's analysis, looking at the constituent parts, looking at um, how, you, how something is composed. So here's some skills in the analysis domain, distinguishing a fact from a hypothesis or a fact from an opinion, distinguishing relevant from extraneous information, determining how ideas relate to each other, identifying any assumptions that go into an argument, identifying any dominant versus subordinate ideas, identifying conclusions with supporting statements. And there are three levels of analysis. We can analyze the elements, we can analyze the relationships, and we can analyze the organizational principles. So here are some examples from Bloom. The ability to analyze in a work of art, the relation of materials and means of production to the elements and to the organization. The ability to recognize form and pattern in literary or artistic works as a means of understanding their meaning. The ability to infer the author's purpose, point of view, or traits of thought and feeling as exhibited in his work. So lots of these things that you can read over on your own. I don't need to read all these to you, but what has, what is taking place here is you are looking at all of the pieces and how those pieces relate to the whole. Here are your action verbs for when you write instructional objectives at the analysis level. And here's an example multiple choice question written at the analysis level. Galileo investigated the problem of the acceleration of falling bodies by rolling balls down very smooth planes inclined at increasing angles, since he had no means of determining very short intervals of time. From the data obtained, he extrapolated for the case of free fall. Which of the following is an assumption implicit in the extrapolation? So for us physics folks out there, here's another example. The following table represents the relationship between the yearly income of certain families and the medical attention they receive. And so based on this, the person concluded that members of families with small incomes are healthier than those with large incomes. So the student is then asked, which of the following assumptions would be necessary in order to justify this conclusion? So multiple choice situation, you could make it into free response by having the students write an essay, um, you know, but Nonetheless, this is an analysis, I mean, an, yeah, an analysis level um, question. So analysis is more involved in application because remember application is simply transfer of knowledge to a new situation, whereas analysis is taking something and breaking it down. Students can see the inner workings. They can break things down into their parts. They can diagnose problems. And so I'd like you to download the handout on the analysis level from the course website, choose a topic from your course, and write three objectives at the analysis level. Then select one and post it on our discussion board. I really like the idea of us learning from each other. So I hope that you are pleased to um, take the time to do that. And that's where we'll stop. If you have any questions, please reach out. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.